According to the latest data from China's Ministry of Transport, there are 6.964 million ride-hailing drivers nationwide. When traditional taxi drivers are included, this number approaches 10 million. Due to factors such as excess ride-hailing capacity and fare reductions, ride-hailing drivers are either accepting low-priced orders or facing a lack of orders altogether. Moreover, many ride-hailing drivers have discovered that they are not only competing with their peers, but also confronting the challenge of autonomous driving. Apollo Go, the autonomous ride-hailing service platform of Baidu's Apollo, has launched over 400 self-driving cars in Wuhan, China, for commercialized testing of fully autonomous ride-hailing service. Baidu is a Chinese internet company primarily engaged in operating search engine services. Currently, users only need to download the Apollo Go app or open the Apollo Go mini program on WeChat to book a ride. Upon the vehicle's arrival, users can unlock the car door by entering the last four digits of their phone number on a screen in the rear window which is very convenient. It should be noted that passengers can only sit in the back seat with a transparent partition between the front and rear seats to prevent passengers from turning autonomous driving into manual driving. As of July 2024, Apollo Go's commercialized passenger testing service covers 11 cities. Starting from July, the commercialized testing of fully autonomous ride-hailing service will be conducted in Beijing, Wuhan, Chongqing, Shenzhen, and Shanghai. Full coverage in Wuhan is expected to be achieved by the end of 2024. The fare for autonomous taxis is about one-third that of traditional taxis. As of July 8th, Apollo Go has accumulated 5 million orders in Wuhan. The peak number of orders per vehicle per day exceeds 20, which is comparable to the order volume of traditional taxis. Apollo Go offers a better customer experience compared to ride-hailing and taxi services. Apollo Go will not decline orders. Taxi drivers may be unwilling to drive an empty car to the airport late at night to pick you up. Apollo Go also does not refuse rides because the destination is in a location where they can't find the next passenger. Apollo Go's standard models are more comfortable than regular budget ride-hailing cars, and the fares are also cheaper. Apollo Go eliminates all other human factors, including sudden braking by some careless taxi drivers and any disputes about whether the air conditioning should be on during the summer. Apollo Go provides 24 7 uninterrupted service and even offered priority nighttime ride services for female users for a period of time. One customer stated that sitting in an autonomous car on the bustling street Listening to familiar songs and watching the passing street scenes creates a surreal feeling of transitioning between reality and sci-fi. By the end of 2023, Wuhan's cumulative open test road mileage exceeded 2,100 miles, covering 12 administrative districts, surpassing Phoenix and San Francisco in the United States, making it one of the largest autonomous ride-hailing service areas in the world. As of the first quarter of 2024, Apollo Go has provided 6 million ride services to the public across China. Statistics show that the vehicle's autonomous driving technology has become mature, with a smooth ride and very few sudden brakes. Are there any concerns about autonomous vehicles like Apollo Go? Apollo Go does not allow passengers to get on or off at any location, but requires them to go to specific stops. Some customers find this less convenient than traditional taxis. Customers also noticed that the efficiency of autonomous vehicles in passing through intersections and narrow roads is still slightly insufficient. Occasionally, there are slight hesitations when braking and starting at traffic lights. The Chinese name for Apollo Go is Radish Go. Therefore, many residents of Wuhan refer to Apollo Go's autonomous vehicles as clumsy radishes. Wuhan City has received many complaints about Apollo Go, mainly regarding the slow speed and unexplained stopping of the autonomous cars. Customers complain that Apollo Go feels like a novice driver who just got a driver's license with average driving skills and slow speed, but strict adherence to traffic rules and always yielding to pedestrians. Apollo Go's customer service explained the reason for unexplained stopping. 
According to autonomous driving technology, the car will not stop without reason if there are no obstacles. If the car stops, it must have encountered an obstacle and stopped according to traffic regulations. Wuhan is the largest city in central China. Why did Apollo Go choose Wuhan, with its more complex road environment, for commercial trial operation? Statistics show that Hubei province, where Wuhan is located, has the highest number of traffic accidents in the country. Successful commercial trial operations in Wuhan will pave the way for nationwide promotion. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.